everyone, it's Melinda Love here with Boom and Biggs TV. Today I want to share with you my first experience with Walmart hidden clearance deals. So I've been seeing a lot of videos lately from other resellers talking about Walmart hidden clearance. So Biggs and I decided that we would give it a try. So we downloaded the Walmart shopping app and headed to the clearance aisle at our local Walmart to start scanning some items. So first, let me show you guys this app. So all it is is the Walmart shopping app. And there is a scanner tool here where you can just scan barcodes found in the store. So you can use this in your local Walmart store. You just want to make sure you have it set to your local location. Make sure the location finder is on and make sure it's showing you prices from that specific location that you're at. If not, it will most likely pull up the online store prices. So in some of the videos that I've been watching recently about Walmart hidden clearance, I'm watching people go to the clearance aisle, find items that are already marked down on clearance, scan them, and it turns out they're marked down even more than the clearance price says. So we're calling this hidden clearance items. So I was so excited to actually go and actually find some for myself. And I'm so excited to show you guys what we found. Biggs and I were searching together. We did scan quite a few things. We found some that were lower than marked, but we didn't really think that they would be worth purchasing for resale. But we did find a couple of items that we did end up purchasing and plan to resell, and I'm really excited to show you guys those. The first item is this Party Hair Poppy Trolls Doll by DreamWorks. This was originally priced at $29.99, and Walmart had it marked down on clearance to $17.00. And when I scanned it with the app, I saw that the price was actually $7. So if I would have seen this and seen $17, I wouldn't have picked it up unless maybe it was for a gift, but I would not have purchased this to resell because there's really not much room there for profit. But $7 is a much better deal and actually $23 less than the original price and $10 less than the clearance price. So in case you guys don't believe this, I'll go ahead and show it to you using the scanner app. So here I have the app open on my phone and I'm going to go ahead and scan it. And being that I'm at home, it's currently set to walmart.com prices. So I'm going to click nearest store, which is the location that I purchased it from. And as you can see here, it's showing that the price in that store is $7. And going back to here again, you see that the price for purchasing this exact doll from walmart.com, the price is $29.05. And when I looked at it two days ago, it was $29.99. So either way, it's a significantly higher price than the hidden clearance deal that I found at the actual store. So that's showing me that I definitely made a great purchase because if somebody were ordering that from walmart.com, they would be paying $29. So they might want to search other platforms to see if they can find a deal on that item. So as long as I price the item under $29, I have a chance of selling it. So we did end up purchasing three of this exact doll and we paid $7 for each instead of $30 for each. Next is this other type of troll doll. This one was priced at $15 at first and as you can see here, Walmart had it on clearance for $5. And when I scanned it, the price turned out to be $2.50 for this. So let me show you that on the app. So when I scan this item, you see that again, it is set to walmart.com, which they are currently selling it for $11.21 on walmart.com. And when I click to show the price for the store nearest to me, you can see the price that I paid two dollars and fifty cents so we did purchase two of those the last thing that we picked up were these two troll dolls a boy and a girl version they both play music 
They both started out at $20 and were marked down to $5 by Walmart. We scanned this one and there actually wasn't a further discount. So they were actually $5 each. We decided to buy them anyway because they were 75% off. In total, we purchased seven DreamWorks Trolls dolls for $38 and we plan to try selling them on eBay. This will be our first attempt at retail arbitrage with toys and finding Walmart hidden clearance items. So this is completely a test. I do not know for sure if these toys are going to sell or not. I'm giving it a try. If not, we can always give them away to family and friends. It won't be a big deal. We just wanted to try this out to see how it works. And if it goes well, we might continue to do this in the future to add to our reselling business because, to be honest, it was very fun. I really enjoyed it. It was exciting. And I look forward to doing it again. So I hope you found this video enjoyable or helpful. And even if you're not a reseller, you might be able to benefit from using this method for buying items for yourself or for gifts. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.